Hi you guys, it's Chantel here at Unspeakable Joys. I just wanted to come on and do as I promised. I said I was going to give you guys a video on our storage organization for art um, this year for our homeschool year and just let you know what I did, a ballpark of how much it, it cost me and where I got pretty much everything. So that way you can go and grab this stuff yourself if you want to or put something together like this for your family or your kids or yourself. So getting started. So Everything, like I said, is pretty much, not everything, most of everything is from the Dollar Tree. If it's not from Dollar Tree, then it's from Michael's or it's just something that I had on hand. Uh, other than that, everything pretty much is from Michael's or from my house. Or, I mean, sorry, Dollar Tree or from my house. So, jumping in, diving in, where's the top? Okay, first things first, there are two food containers that are holding the bulk of all the this applies and then down here there's a basket I'm gonna put this aside um, in the basket is gonna hold all of their paper watercolor paper sketch paper um, mixed media paper any kind of paper that we're gonna use for our art supplies um, anything that they're gonna do it's gonna be inside of this like lower compartment here and then these two just sit in here nestled in and they'll get stacked not three on top, two on top because of where um, they're actually getting stacked at. It only fits two, but it'll be two on top of each other. And they fit kind of, they fit pretty much perfectly because of this flat surface here. So this is just the top. It comes off. I've got four extra tops because obviously when you buy them, you get tops. And I don't need the other ones because it's nestled in. So I'm going to take out the top compartment and work from the bottom up. This is the first layer that's going to go and sit inside of the basket. Inside this, we've got their sketch pencils, which are really cool. These came from Dollar Tree. They actually work really well. I've already tried them out. Um, pretty true to their, their um, it's not focusing on them. Pretty true to um, their grades. And it comes with a pencil, comes in this cool tin. I haven't seen these around. I bought these like maybe three months ago because I knew that I was going to put a set together for art for the kids um, this year. And I needed to start buying things little by little because I don't like to buy everything at the same time. Um, so I'd have, I didn't see them today when I went. I went to go get these uh, baskets. I didn't get to, I didn't see them. Um, if you see them, I'd say grab them. They're only a dollar, it's great. Even if you don't use the pencils as what they're used for, the sharpener actually works really well. And this case is really good. You can even use this for just like a regular holding of makeup brushes or um, medicine or first aid kit. This tin is really nice. It holds together really well. Um, it's on together, so there. Um, but yeah, that's cool. So it has their sketch, sketch pencils, some water, I keep saying watercolor brushes and they're not watercolor brushes. Um, their, their markers, their watercolor, color paints. This is just a pencil case with some, uh, colored pencils and some more markers. And then down here, I already put this on my on my Instagram, so if you're on there, you've already seen this. I basically took the paint that was inside of this container, which is this and came with a brush. It's from Dollar Tree, so it's a dollar. Took that out and put the brushes in here. I did that because the brushes don't really fit into one of these. They don't nestle in there very well, um, and I don't want the brushes to get messed up. So that was a really great um, find idea thought. I had bought these watercolors probably about the same time that I bought the pencils and hopes for the kids to kind of just get a, a feel for watercolor and what it was like and what we were going to be doing before I went out and actually purchased actual paints. Now I ended up getting these paints because they did have a buy one, get one 50% off and they were labeled buy one, get one 50% off. These are artist loft. They're generally not labeled buy one, get one 50% off because they don't do any discounts on them, but they were labeled. And when I went and asked the, the register lady, she was like, oh yeah, I'll give it to you. Even with these water pads down here, they're also artist loft. They were um, five bucks. And actually this one was not five bucks. This one was in a three pack for 15. So they were five bucks. 
Um, but this one was five bucks and that one, um, I ended up getting buy one, get one 50% off, but this is in a three pack. That's why I didn't get buy one, get one 50% off. Apparently my son wants to say, ah, no, <laughs> you want to say hi. No, I didn't. I was... Oh, well then stop trying to get him my camera easily. Anyway, back to, back to this. He's like trying really hard. Um, let me put focus back on. So that's what's inside of this case here. And then this case sits on top. It sits on top quite perfectly. Oh, you can't even see that. It sits on top, top, on top. It sits on top quite perfectly. Um, these are just some plates from Dollar Tree. It's the party plates. I think they come in a pack of 12. Um, I like these for mixing and blending and doing that. And one of our first projects are gonna be mixing colors and seeing what all the colors you can make with all the different paints. Um, the watercolors, acrylics, and all that. So that's what that's for. These two here, there's no real purpose for them right now in this moment, um, but I'm hoping that there will be some reason why we have these. But right now, they're just there because there was extra space, and I was like, oh, hmm, let's put these there. And I don't know. I use these right now for my gesso, my gel medium, and my gloss medium inside of my set. But theirs is going in a smaller tube because I don't know how much they will actually use it. And I don't want to give them a whole bunch and then they don't use it. And then I got a bunch of these little things running around. Um, but yeah, so we'll figure out what we're going to put in these. Haven't decided yet. Maybe some glitter glue or I don't know. Maybe they're uh, kneaded erasers or something. I don't know. So, thi <sighs> sorry. This is from Kmart. Uh Kmart was going out of business. I got these on clearance. I think they were like 50 cents. I think they're originally a dollar, but, and not all Kmarts. Let me make that clear. Just the Kmart by my house. Um, but it's just like a, one of those things to just hold like lotion or stuff like that for on the go. I think it's like a two ounce um, little container. This is from Dollar Tree. This comes in a pack of six and 10. Sorry, I think they come in a pack of 10, um, but yeah. This is not from Dollar Tree. This is actually from Michael's, but it's pretty much the same price. You get six for a dollar. At um, Dollar Tree, it doesn't have this little top portion here. It's just the six um, wells, but it's the same concept. You get six and it's for a dollar. So that is from Dollar Tree. These are from Dollar Tree. They're just some reusable towels that they have in their cleaning section. It's just for them to clean their brushes or wipe off paint or whatever it is that they're gonna do um, with them. Uh, this is from Dollar Tree. I'm sorry, this comes in a pack of six. Uh, this is from Dollar Tree. It's just a art, it's in the art section of your Dollar Tree and it just has these little cool um, sections kind of cut off for jewelry making or beads or I don't know, loom bands, whatever. Whatever you want to use them for, they're just an organizing container. What I like to use them for is for paint. So what we're gonna do is I need to get some more of these, which these are also from Dollar Tree, six for a dollar. And they're the smaller one. There are bigger ones. If you are gonna do this, you're gonna make sure that you grab, that you grab the smaller ones. Um, don't be fooled. <laughs> um, so these three here are gonna have primary colors of acrylic inside of these tubes. I just need to go get some more. And then it's gonna be black and white here for acrylics and then four other different colored acrylics, whatever, whichever ones that they want. These three tubes right here will actually have gesso, gel medium, and the gloss medium, or maybe Mod Podge or just regular glue. I haven't decided yet exactly how far I'm gonna take them, especially my little ones, like that one, <laughs> um, how far I'm gonna take them into the world of painting. So there's that, this goes back there, there, and there. And then over here, this is something I really wanted to use for a color wheel, something that they would have on hand. They would just have it, they could hold it and choose different sides, but it has eight um, spokes. And that really isn't 100% helpful because generally it's like six, 12 um, that you're gonna find your color wheel in. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to use this, but they might be able to use it to just put some paint on and maybe hold it like a like a, um, a palette that they can hold in their hands while they're painting. They can use that for this. I don't know what they're gonna use it for. We'll figure it out. Um, and then just their spatula for when they mix any of their pigments into the, the gel mediums or whatnot. 
And then this is another food container, same brand, which is on my Instagram picture. You can find that there. And this just has some crayons, a glue stick, um, a bottle. The bottle is for like water. I like them to have their water in something that's not easily spillable. So their water, their clean water will be here so that they can, you know, use that and grab water from there. But that's pretty much it, guys. Um, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope this is helpful, and I'm going to get back to finishing my homeschool organization stuff. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.